This is how you insert multiple rows in your Excel workbook. Let's say, for example, if you want to insert multiple rows right below pencils, what you do is that you highlight your pencil row like this on your data set and then hold down shift on your keyboard and then move your mouse cursor somewhere on the fill handler such that your mouse cursor icon looks like that. Now hold your left click and drag however many rows that you want to insert. Let's say another requirements you have might be you want to insert uh, row on the stationary column without affecting quantities. So place your cursor on any of the location where you want to insert the rows to and then hold down your shift and move your cursor somewhere near the fill handle like this such that the icon or rather the mouse icon looks like this and then left click hold it and drag all the way down. This technique inserts rows without affecting any other columns on your data set. A bonus clue here, let's say for example if you want to insert multiple rows uh, using a hotkey, select the row header where you want to insert your row to and then keep pressing Ctrl Shift Plus to insert multiple rows.